also called the math lady. Today we're working on some evaluations with signed numbers. And then I'm going to add another lesson on doing sign numbers without parentheses. Okay, so two lessons in one today. Let's get started with the first one, the evaluations with the sign numbers. Now, up until now, we have been doing evaluations with sign numbers or with positive numbers. <laughs> That's right. But this time, we are going to use both a mixture of positive and negative. Take a look. I've got x plus y minus x times y minus x, and I'm going to put in or substitute the values a negative 3 for x and a negative 4 for y. So a tip here is to put everything inside of parentheses. So for x, I'm going to put in a negative 3, but just to keep it clean, I'm going to put it inside of a parentheses for now. Let's do plus a y and put that inside of a parentheses. It's a negative 4 for now. And let's do minus. We have an x, which is a negative 3 times a negative 4. As you see, I'm just putting everything inside of parentheses. And then we're going to subtract x, which is a negative 3. Okay, well, where do we go next? Yes, you know our rules of PEMDAS say that we do the multiplication in this problem before we do the addition or the subtraction. So let's go do that. We have a negative 3 times a negative 4. Negative times a negative is a positive. So we've got 3 times 4 is going to be 12. So I'm going to put my minus sign and inside of a parentheses, a 12. Now let's work things around that. Negative 3 plus a negative 4 is a negative 7. We already have our n minus a 12. And now we here we have minus a negative 3. Well, a minus a negative turns into a positive. So we have plus 3. Okay, let's do one more round. Minus 7, negative 7. Minus 12, we're going to get more negative. So that's a negative 19 plus a 3. A negative 19 plus a 3 is a negative 16. Okay, that is your answer. So the trick here is we just use parentheses to kind of keep everything separate until we are ready to work with it. Okay, now we're going to move on to part two of this lesson where we're going to take away the parentheses. Let's see how we do. Let's take a look at this example. So notice we have signed numbers and we do not have parentheses. So where do we start? Well, we use our rules of PEMDAS and let's look and see. I don't see any parentheses, I don't see any exponents, I don't see any multiplication or division, so we go straight to the addition and subtraction in the order we see it from left to right. So let's do it. Negative 3 plus a 7 is going to be a positive 4. That's what these two are. Positive 4 minus 2 is going to be a positive 2. So let's do this. Woo! Positive 2. Positive 2 minus 5 is going to be a negative 3. And a negative 3 plus a 3 is going to be a 0. So all we did is just worked it from left to right, and we didn't need the parentheses. We just had to calculate as we went. Take a look at this example. Now we do have parentheses here, but our parentheses are meant to be multiplication symbols. So knowing your rules of PEMDAS, what do we do first? Yes, we do the multiplication first. So here's what we can do. We can use some slash marks to kind of show the different segments of our problem. Wherever we see a plus or a minus, we're going to put a slash mark. So we're going to say negative 3 is one term. Then our positive 5 times our negative 3 is going to be another. And then our negative 2 times a negative 3 is going to be our third term. Let's work each of these and then we'll work it from left to right. So for now, I'm just going to keep my negative 3. And now we've got a positive 5 times a negative 3. A positive times a negative is a negative. So that's going to be minus 15. Let's go to the last one. Negative 2 times a negative 3. A negative times a negative is a 
positive. So we're going to be plus 6. And now we can work it from left to right in the order we see our addition and subtraction. So here we go. Negative 3 minus 15 is going to be negative 18 plus 6. Negative 18 plus 6 is going to be negative 12. And that is our answer. It's really that simple. So now we're taking off the parentheses that we had around our sign numbers and we just can look at them and evaluate them just the way they are. So I've got a whole bunch of practice problems for you around this so you can practice evaluating these terms. Make sure you check them out on the website. That's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.